Hey guys, it's me again. Today I'm going to try and talk about setting up a local WordPress development environment using a, a Docker Compose setup I have on GitHub. And I'll put the link to that in the description so you can check it out and download it and use it. Um, the first thing we need to do is open up our terminals. Uh, there we go. And uh, I work within a development directory. I don't know how you guys might have that set up, but keeps things separated so let's go ahead and go in there and then I'm going to work within a let's say a demo directory you know each, each project gets its own directory and now that we're in there we need to go ahead and get our um, docker compose configuration from github so let's uh, get clone that uh, alpine PHP MariaDB.git and we're going to stick that into a Docker directory. It's kind of a catch-all for all that stuff, which will contain our database and our um, our assets and whatnot. Let's go ahead and get that set up. It should take just a second. Um, maybe there we go. And so now that we're done doing that, let's go in here and see what we got. So we get a Docker Compose uh, file, which um, just has you know images, and so this is a uh, an nginx container uh, with some volumes, links to a MySQL container, which is just MariaDB, and then database volumes goes out to a uh, it's persisted to the host, so nothing too fancy there. And we can also look at our Nginx configuration real quick. Um, so you notice here that the root goes to var www default public. This is kind of set up uh, for me doing Laravel development. Um, so we need to kind of serve WordPress from this public directory. Not a big deal. Um, it's just a matter of moving it. So let's go ahead and run Docker Compose up just to get everything kind of configured. And since I already had these images installed locally, um, just overall, it didn't take that long. But if you're doing this for the first time, it might take three or four minutes to go ahead and download, download those images and set up the database and whatnot. So let's see what this gives us now. Um, now we have a database directory, which keeps everything for MariaDB. It already has a user set up and passwords and whatnot and permissions. And we also have this www directory. Um, and that's just going to contain all of our HT docs. So let's go in and due to some permissions issues I'm still trying to figure out with Docker, we need to um, set the permissions pretty wide open on the www directory. Um, I wouldn't advise doing that in production, but locally I don't see much issue with it. So let's go ahead and do that. So next thing we need to do is go in here and, well, we'll get back to this in a second, but um, go ahead and make our default directory. And then within that, um, go ahead and make our, uh, let me do that. We're going to go ahead and download WordPress. Um, so we can just do wget http. Um, WordPress.org slash latest dot tar dot gzip and that should take I don't know, depending on your connection, maybe a minute or two. Nothing too unmanageable. Um, okay, so now that that's done, let's um, unpack that. So tar extracts the files, latest and that will give us a WordPress directory here. I mean, to move, we need to move that to public, just so it's visible to Nginx. So I'll move WordPress to public, and now let's um, change permissions on all this so that um, Nginx doesn't complain about it. So 
So again, chmod r seven 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 and public. So everything there should be set up good. Now, um, what we can do is open up our browser, and there we go. So we just need to go through here and set up everything. Now the database information, the database name is Homestead. Um, as I modeled this kind of after Laravel's Homestead, the username is also Homestead. The password is secret, and the database host is MySQL. Um, prefix really shouldn't matter because we're not polluting anything. Click next, see if that works and it worked just as I expected and you know just go ahead and fill everything in demo site username Josh uh, password um, email and install WordPress I hope everything should be good to go um, log in And here we go. You know, everything's good to go. So from here, um, anything you need to do as far as development and checking things out on a uh, you know running server, you can go ahead and get done. Um, nothing too hard about any of that. And you can you know download that Docker Compose image or setup um, as needed. You know, you can have a hundred of these in a a directory, you know, each labeled a different thing, and they'll all pop up as, you know, being isolated instances, which I think is really great. So I hope you guys learned something from this, can use some of these tools, and I'll put all the links to what I've got, you know, showed here in the description so you guys can use it. Um, until next time, happy hacking.